now though I want to talk about objective morality versus subjective morality. Maybe it's because Bionic Dance recently spent three videos trying to explain to people what objective morality actually is. Maybe it's because I just watched the debate between Christopher Hitchens and Frank Turek or something like that on is there a god. But the whole thing with objective morality I just have to ask, why is it so important to you? I don't understand. Why, why is subjective morality not enough? Why isn't it fine if we can agree, using our empathy, using humanism, we can agree on what is moral enough for like laws and stuff, and the smaller stuff that we maybe shouldn't really legislate like, you know, the details of parenting, for example. That should be up to the individual and they just use their best judgment, use their experiences. And again, empathy and humanism. Why isn't that enough? Why do you need permission from some higher authority, some perfect creature that reigns over you? I, I don't understand. Why is that necessary? It seems like such a pointless discussion to me. We could spend this time debating actually important things. Objective morality only exists if you believe in some sort of, you know, higher entity that is not of us. Because other than that, it's our opinion. That's what subjective morality is. That's people's opinions. No matter how many people agree, if it's one person, if it's a million people who think that, it is still subjective morality. And as long as people are allowed to make up their own minds about the smaller things, and as long as the bigger things are decided without bias, then what is the problem? Why do we need anything, any other kind of morality than subjective morality?